conducting is the development, the natural development of a long career of collaboration with other musicians. I fell in love with music when I was three or four years old. Uh, music has been part of my life uh, ever since I was born because I come from a family where uh, no one was a musician or is a musician, but um, music was always in the house. My parents are big music lovers and I've been um, surrounded by music and in music since I was four years old. I grew up as a pianist, I studied in Rome at the conservatory and then eventually got into the Juilliard School. I always had this dream of going to New York. Therefore I went into chamber music and then from chamber music into vocal music, from vocal music into opera. And then I became a, an assistant conductor and let's say a coach a pianist uh, working in the opera world. I um, discovered a uh, sudden, let's say, passion for leadership um, because when I was playing rehearsals or assisting other conductors, I started feeling uh, the need of, of expressing my own ideas musically. I've always loved making music with other people and I find that uh, being on the podium is in a way, although you're you're on the higher step, let's say, of the pit. Um, you are making music with other people, with the chorus, with the orchestra, with the soloists. If you're in a symphonic setting, just, just the orchestra. Conducting is the development, the natural development of a long career of collaboration with other musicians. I remember my first experience in front of an orchestra. It was at the Yale University. It was a student orchestra, and it was Mozart's Così fan tutte. Great opera, very complicated uh, piece. It was with young singers. But I, I knew as a pianist and as a cembalo player, you know, because I also played the recits, the piece inside out. But it was my first time leading it from the podium, and uh, I developed a lot from that experience to who I am today, because I think that um, as a conductor, you get better and better the more you work with different people, different energies, different cultures, different groups of people, different repertoire, and every experience that I, I go through now is, is a learning experience for me because it, so much about conducting is not only knowledge, but energy, giving back and forth energy to people. When I started studying piano uh, many years ago, when I was a teenager, I had never seen a woman conduct. And so when I actually finally stepped on the podium, I, there were already these amazing women doing it. And through the last 10, 12 years, I am very happy to see that there are more and more and more young women coming out of conservatories and of programs who want to conduct. And I think what is very, very important for people like me who already have a career now is to encourage those people to, to follow their dreams. Uh, as women who are in this position, I think that we can, we can be role models for other women in the sense that we can encourage them to feel like this is absolutely possible. And that if you have talent and if you study hard and if you are prepared, there is no such thing as a difference. You know, when you're on the podium, you're a musician. You're, you are an artist. You are who you are as a prepared musician. What needs to be done in the arts world is not only having more women on the podium, more women, more diversity, let's say, not just women, any kind of diversity um, in leading roles, but um, also on the top. So let's say artistic directors, general directors, people who make the big decisions. Um, I think that who is qualified to do a job should be hired for the, for, for the job. And this is the beauty of art, of music, is that it's an international language music. It's no, there's no barriers. Music can unify people through, through notes, which are something that is not any language. You know, it's just the language of music. And that's what unifies us as human beings and as artists. I really think that um, in today's world, we're, we're on the right track. There's still a lot of work to be done. You know, my name is Speranza, which means hope. So there is hope for the future. <laughs>